this is a drought. Are you everybody? Water is the foundation of both life and livelihoods. It also minimizes the effect of drought and water shortages. By reducing the amount of water we use, we can better protect against future drought years. It helps to preserve our environment. Himachal Pradesh is one of the best states in water conservation. I think that we all should learn something from this state. Let's look into it. Katri is a traditional water conservation practice of Himachal Pradesh used to collect rain water for later use. Katri are rectangular deep pits about 10 to 12 feet size and 6 feet carved out in the hard rock mountain. It is basically a rainwater harvesting tank built out of stone to give it some permanency. This structure is impervious in nature so that the water doesn't percolate. These traditional water storage structures are found in Hamipur, Kangra and Mati districts of Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh is aiming to tap rainwater and use it optimally in agriculture and its allied activities. The minister said the project would help in doubling the income of farmers by 2022 to 2023 through water conservation and enhancing the climate change adaptability. Farm pond is dug out structure with definite shape and size having a proper inlet and outlet structures for collecting the surface run of flowing from the farm area. It is one of the most important rain harvesting structures constructed at the lowest portion of the farm area. Kun is a traditional method of irrigation used in the state of Himachal Pradesh. It is mainly used in the Kangra Valley and the western parts of Himachal Pradesh. It works by diverting the water into a canal from its natural flow with the use of boulders. The diverted water is then used up by the plants kept in either sides of the canal through which the diverted water passes. The surplus water available after the irrigation process is directed back towards the small natural stream so that the surplus water is not wasted. Akhadim, also called Adora, is an igneous construction designed to harvest surface runoff water for agriculture. This water is held back by the bund and saturates the soil in the Khadim area. Excess water is released formed by a sluice or spillway and then crops are grown in the moist soil. Excess water during heavy rains flows out of the farm even after implementing various rainwater harvesting methods. Small dams or barriers are built to store this water for usage on the farm. Stones, wood, wire mesh etc. are used to cut down the cost. Water collected in this tech dam percolates slowly recharging groundwater level. Growing grass or putting stone slabs in the water channels brings the water to this dam. Taking blockages out allows the free flow of water. Wooden or metal barriers are used in summer to store water. In the western Ghat regions, temporary blockages are created for small streams by October-November months. Stored water is used for agriculture till its availability. Anavla is a naturally occurring water aquifer. It is a stone link tank which catches dripping water from springs and streams. It looks like a temple from outside and is equally regarded as such. Naula has been considered a sacred tradition and culture. Sculptures of Lord Vishnu or any local deities are usually carved onto the walls of Naula to declare it as a sacred site and prevent it from being polluted. The entrance of Naula was always made small. This was done to prevent animals from entering it and ensure that only one person entered it at a time. Naula is commonly found in Hamirpur, Kangra and Mandi districts of Himachal Pradesh and Kasarkot district in the northern Malabar region of Kerala. Jesus 
some of the most important and influential water conservation methods in Himachal Pradesh. Farm ponds can be very useful in Kerala. During heavy rainfall, excess water from the farm flows out into the farm ponds. This is really useful because it provides drinking water for the cattle, irrigation water for nurseries and newly planted seeds. Collected water percolates down, recharging the groundwater. This conservation method also helps in minimizing soil erosion. Without water, life cannot exist. You must look at better states who conserve water and learn from them. Thank you.